Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! What is the matter with you idiots Fight, falling for a fake crystal star? That's asinine. This is sorry dude, I mean sir. So, let me guess. This means Mario managed to get the real crystal star. Uh, I'm gonna say maybe. Ugh. This mustache menace has nearly every crystal star now. They were mine. I think I'd better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Grotus, I think I'd better tell you something. What is it, fool? Oh, I did the wrong voice for the axe knot. I'm stupid. <laughs> Wah! Are you sure? Speak. No, no joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, sir, dude. Th that is, I'm positive, sir. Er, treason! Er, heater! <laughs> I gotta remember to turn that off, dang it. It's Peach! Strange, isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? Maybe he's busy. I wonder how many times he's called her in by now. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Can I take a shower? It's been a while since I've showered. I feel filthy. Yay! <laughs> I've missed showering. <sighs> Water. Warmth. Steam. Nudity. <laughs> there we go. Boy, she changes fast. <laughs> How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Alright, let's go visit Tech now. Am I going to have to walk through that hallway or will I just be able to cut on ahead? It all seems to depend on the scenario, I swear. <laughs> Can't go through the elevator. Oh, of course. In we go. Hey, Tech. Hello, Tech. What do you want today? Princess Peach. I have... I have reached a conclusion. Hmm? A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak to you, and I cannot confirm what I should believe. Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Huh? Escape? Tech, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured has been analyzed, and something terrible is... No, I will not say. But I have found out everything about Sir Grotus' plans. Grotus' plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes. And among those plans was the reason why you are being held here. According to the data... Hmm? No! No way! It's impossible! I don't believe it! They cut it out! Dang it! Yes, everything is true. That is all, you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you are currently imprisoned. This is the moon. The moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? That is correct. But, but that's unbelievable! How in the world are I supposed to escape? There's a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But, Tech, won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is uh, inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech. I am the base's computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please, do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. But I must inform Mario about all this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Uh-oh! Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Ah! You! It's... Grotus. Tech. You miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. 
Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose. Especially since it ends here. You monster! What are you planning on to do with him? <laughs> Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am... Uh, I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, Tech. x knots. At the same time, press the red buttons on Tech's sides. Got it, sir! Guess that's to prevent anyone from just deleting tech if they want to easily, you know, alone. Tech, no! Mail. Sent. Princess Peach. I. I. O. E. E. Y. O. U. Oh. It said I love you. I thought that other L. I mean, I mean uh, yeah, I thought that other uh, I was an L. You know, I mean, yeah, the first there was a, the first thing was an I, the second one was an L. Yeah, whatever. Deletion complete. Poopers. Tech. <laughs> Too bad, Princess Peach. Tech is no longer with us. No, you inhuman beast. How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. There is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have some very important things for you to do now. Yes, very important. No! <laughs> yeah, sure. And that ends Peach's segment. Oh boy, what a cliffhanger. Save me! <laughs> oh, mm, oh, I've got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was... Well, it wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? If this keeps up, Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp. As usual. Your massiveness. Mm. We did it. And Patrick Koopa's scouts found the suspicious on their own chamber. It isn't even in any map. Any maps? Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. Hmm. <clears throat> About time. Well done. This is where it all turns around for me. Definitely. The Hammer Brothers Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. They're scraping to put tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast us through. I'm Bowser, baby. <laughs> It does seem to be up his alley to break into stuff. Hey, it's the actual real Luigi. Hmm. It's like, hmm. Oh, there goes Bowser. I'll just leave him be. <laughs> Ready to roll! Let's do it! It's Bowser's Castle! <laughs> Complete with fire bars and lava and everything. By the way. That's one hit kill. <laughs> Let me at him! Oh, by the way, I was told that if you pause, you can hear him make all sorts of funny grunting noises. <laughs> I never thought to try that before, actually. You know, press the start button to pause. <laughs> Bowser truly is the most comical of baddies. Anyway, let's be careful of his own castle. But he's going to regret building his place this way now. <laughs> and we got... Power up! Oh, poopers. That, there's kind of like a trade-off there. Ah, oh, that's fine, that's fine. There's more to come, more to come. Ooh, super fire bar. Super giant fire bar, I mean. Oh, I wish I could break through the flooring. Oh, oh. No, my meat! No! No, I, I want to destroy everything! But alas, I can't. No. Well, I suppose I... Ah! Well, I suppose it's a different way to play the level. 
I could have done better there, but that was fun. <laughs> Woo! Finished! Alright, where are we now? Seems to be a workout room. Incredible, Lord Bowser! Nothing has stood in your way! You couldn't be more super! <laughs> super Bowser will be the next video game. I would buy it. <laughs> Please! No problem. I felt right at home. <laughs> but where are we now? Gracious me, look! Lord Bowser on the wall! Behind you! <sighs> Hello! Could it be? Oh yeah! A crystal star! Advantage Bowser! <laughs> at last we found one! And now we'll make it ours! Freeze jumps! Oh, who's there? It's Rockhawk! <laughs> Don't tell me that you all know the famous Rockhawk! You little punk weasel! You forgot these muscles? You forgot this hugeness? Don't ask me how! Would you clear my secret chain facility? Not too shabby! <laughs> So that it wasn't Bowser's castle, it was his training facility. I even imported some super freaks up to up the difficulty level. You're good! The x -Nos, of course. Of course, good doesn't count for squatting this biz, babe. My champ's belt is mine. <laughs> oh, look. What an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Well, tell me something. You ever see a weakling do this? <laughs> Pain! Didn't stand the chance. Ouch. <laughs> oh, now you're sleeping. I knew you were a weakling. Hey, there's something going on with that crystal star. Oh, it broke. Whoa, a crystal star. Oh, ah, it's putting two. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, look at his face. Wait, hold the phone. My mind, Lord Bowser. This is just glass. A flim flam. A fake. What? Speak English. You. Uh, what? The real one? The great. Uh, Gonzalez has it. Oh, my aching hair. <laughs> Your hair can hurt. Feel the. Rock. <laughs> I don't know anyone but he named Gonzalez. Stop sneaking in, speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget! <laughs> God, who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? Maybe the floor. <laughs> yes, I will. That was quite legendary. <laughs> I guess it was kind of interesting playing through his stage without blowing up everything, you know, being in super large mode. Because usually people uh, play through the stages without powering up. I mean, I mean, they usually play through the stages with powering up to the max and then destroying everything, but I played it like a normal platforming segment as a result of my bungles. Oh, you were just a little longer for our next to schedule departure, departure, sir. Mario, is that an email from your princess? Mario, I now know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... Cut off. Hmm, the moon, is it? Peaches on the moon? Sounds intriguing. But why is her email cut off? You don't think something's happened to her, do you? I do think that. Y you have a train ticket? Well, I'm going to try and save up, my save up my money, too. I know it won't be easy. One day I'm going to write it. Uh, wait, did I... Did you have this dialogue before when I talked to you before? Hmm. Maybe you did. Maybe. Uh oh. More email. I I was I was like, uh oh. And then I move like an inch forward and then I get email. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Eve, hey, that's the one that uh um I I helped with Podly. How are you, Mario? This is Eve from Tyler Town. Remember me? After a lot of soul searching, I found that I'm truly happy. I might, I may not be able to forget the hard times or even completely remember them, but I've been thinking things over, and I believe that my sad past paved the way to my current happiness. Is that deep? <laughs> anyway, I can't think about that stuff all the time. The kids play all day, then they get hungry and cry and scream, so I'm pretty busy all day, every day. 
The kid would love to see you again, so please drop by next time you're in the area. Fondly yours, Eve. Now remember to feed your kids. <laughs> Yeah, like, guess what I found in Rapture's Ruins, bro? A marvelous compass piece! This part of my adventure is actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It was pretty insane, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yep, 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 yep. Rapture's Ruins... Coffee pa pasta? <clears throat> After journeying deep into the Grimba Forest, I found the dope to Rapture's Ruins. Inside, everything was pure right. You couldn't tell where the be floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached this boy, uh, the boy, someone <laughs> named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry and that he'd wait for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny little tickle in my nose, and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his eyes right up. <laughs> he looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race, the Luffs. He had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the compass is an with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass, and their empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven pots. He had six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero awoke him. Hmm. I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me, and then he and the ruins vanished. When I added that piece to the compass, it pointed to the far north, where the dreaded Hate Song Tower stands. This time, I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess, I will be super, and then I'll... 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 Well, I'll figure it out the rest later. <laughs> anyway, I headed back to Ro here to Rokeport after that. Yeah, I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but well, that's what I've been up to anyway. And his story is over. Okay. Now let's see what his partner has to say about the story. I'm screaming. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. For I must deliver something. Didn't you kind of deliver it? Well, maybe you didn't. Maybe you did. I don't know. But anyway, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part.